Talk about, I don't know what happened with the payment. They changed it, the payment went up. It was a dollar a month, it was a dollar a month. And it changed after six months. Don't be stupid, man. Don't let people treat you like you're stupid. If it sounds too good to be true, it is. Like that man, Bernie Madoff, took what, 500 million? I can't even say. <laughs> How do you steal 500 million and be calm? I couldn't even fake it. Woo! How you doing? Oh, I, got <laughs> I got your money. I, got I can't believe y'all gave me your money. It's gone. It's gone. How do you take 500 men? I knew there were no black folks because he's still alive. And I'm, talking, I'm not talking about 500 million black people. I gave him a thousand dollars. I gave him a thousand all my money. I saw people on TV. I lost everything. I lost 20 million. You, you ain't at his house. I've been outside the gate. Bernie! I know there's some money. I'm going over the fence. You see me in the news. Sinbad went over the fence at Bernie Madoff's house. I'm going to give my money back. I'm cheap. That's why I don't go to strip clubs. Lap dance. You better dance over there. I'm right here. I'm just here listening to the music. Make it rain. I'll hit you with a quarter. Men, y'all got to quit going to strip clubs. Men, men, go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. Now, I'm going to help the ladies out. Why do you think men go to strip clubs? Why do men go to strip clubs? Huh? Why do you think men go to strip clubs? I'm going to help. See, women, y'all don't understand the mind of a man. I'm going to help y'all tonight. Why do you think men go to strip clubs? Because a half naked woman smile at you and say your name. But y'all don't do it at home. What do you do at home? Oh, here he here. Here your daddy. Your daddy here. Look who's finally here. Here he come. You used to like him. Ladies, what happens once we get married? You hate us. I mean, you hate us. When we date you, you love you, love you, love you, love you, you. You say the same thing, but it means different things. When you date us, you show your friends, there he is. Oh my God, that's him. Oh God, that's him. When you married, here you go. Yeah, that's him. That's what God blessed me with. I guess God was mad at me. Same words, different meaning. When you first get together, she's in the kitchen, you walk up behind her, you so nasty. When you've been married, you just nasty. That's just nasty. Back up, touch me again, touch me again. We say stuff we don't mean. We all say stuff we don't mean. Men say, I just want to find a good woman. Well, you got one. I mean, you all. <laughs> we all want something else other than what we have and don't realize what you got works. It works. It does work. You got work. Marriage is work. Marriage is a career. It's not an adventure. You do more before five than most folks do all day. It's like the military. My wife and I, we're together about six, seven years. We're married. We divorced for 10, 11 years. Now we're back together, married eight years. Because we're both so damaged, we can't be with nobody else. We had to come back home. Once you've been married to each other, you're trained. I'm trained. I ain't got time to train nobody else. She ain't got time to train nobody else. Everybody's jacked up. Go back to the one you had. I thought you was crazy. Everybody crazy. I know you're crazy. I can deal with your crazy. And all you men out here, 55 years old, trying to date some girl 20 like she like you. Are you out your mind? She wants your house. I don't see no 20 year old girls with a broke down 55 year old man with no money. You don't see no girl 20. Oh, he's, look at, look at the homeless dude, but he's cute. Hey, hey. She wants you to die. If you keep messing with her, you will. You want a woman that understands the signs of stroke. That's what I'm looking for. A woman that got my medication in her purse. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. I thought you took it. I thought I did. 
you want a woman that's your nurse. See, if you go to dinner with a woman that's 55 years old and you, your little lip curl up, she know what to do. Hey, 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 Jamal, Jamal, look at me. Jamal, look at me. She'll get you to a hospital and save your life. But a girl 20, quit making faces at me. It's not funny anymore. Now you all stroked out for the rest of your life because your little cute girlfriend didn't know the signs of stroke. She come visit you in the hospital. I ain't know where the stroke was. I tried to tell you. I don't understand you. I had a stroke. Well, can I have your house now? Since you can't live there no more. <laughs> Marriage is about growing old together. Marriage is about falling apart at the same time. That's what makes it special. You live long enough, the two of you become one good person. You become one. One can see, one can hear. One can walk, one can use their hand. You need each other. You have to go to movies together. One listens, one watches. You become a team. One got a good right hip, one got a good left hip, and you balance. They're so cute together. No, they fall down. They need one another. <laughs> Woo! Because see, once, once you've been with somebody so long, you just understand stuff. You have the same vision, you share glasses. You got glasses all over the house. Wait, girl, let me get you. I think they're behind the stove. I always had 20-20 vision all my life. I can't see now. You know how I found out? I'm in the movie theater, and I'm the only one going to just, focus it! And usually other people join in with you. They were like, you might want to move down toward the front, Sinbad. So now I got them progressive glasses so I can see far at the top and I see close at the bottom. But they, they told me you can drive with it. No, you can't. You got to learn the sweet spot. You got to find the sweet spot. You know how many times I stop at a stop sign? It's way out there somewhere. What? Oh, wait a minute. My bad, my bad. It's right here, my bad, I'm sorry. So I want to help you ladies with questions you have. Anything you might have, something about a man that throws you off, something about your man that drives you crazy, I'll fix it in 13 seconds. You don't need no long counseling. Any woman, somebody, man, make you mad, anything, something, shout it out, shout it. Be romantic. What does that mean? You got to be specific with a man. I don't even know what you're talking about. Be romantic. What? Fix the screen door? What? What do you want me to do? I want romance. I want romance. I want romance. What? Hold your hand, what? Then say it. Look at your man, hold my hand. Ah, I got it, I got it. Now you finally got what you're looking for. I want romance, I want, could you read those books? How to make love last forever. How to have romance forever. Too much work. Just say what you want. You got a man always forget your birthday? Forget that. Buy yourself a car, look what you got me. He'll remember next year. I'll never forget your birthday again. That one cost me a lot of money. Oh. Okay, I'm help. what confuses you most about women? I'll fix it. What confuses you most about women? And I'm going to fix it for you. I'm going to help you understand it. That they act like nothing. You're not married, are you? Because you're talking. She ain't here, is she? Why are you talking? You ain't learned nothing. You have learned nothing in your life. That's why you stay in trouble. You know what she did? She did this. She said, you know what that means? See, you don't know what that means. You're a single man. That means this man's in trouble. He don't even understand. She did that. They're going to be in the car. What? Why you always got to say something? He asked me something. That's a man that's sleeping downstairs.